Hello, everyone. This is New England Sports Radio Live from the bowels of Boston, Massachusetts. We're going one, two, three, live. Who passes? We have different reasons for that. Believe in me. Because I don't believe in anything. And I, I want to be someone. Enough of this counting crows. If I can hang myself with a horseshoe bullshit, right? I spoke my mind and I'll speak it again. Bill Belichick needs to be let go. Effective immediately. Bob Kraft, I heard, was seen in Brookline at a kosher deli. Sitting down with the Chabad Lubavitch rabbis. And when they were sitting down before they bit into the kosher corn beef, just like they did in John Gotti, there was the Gambino crime family. And then the Carlo Gambino. When a name was brought up on the round table, someone had to get whacked. Carlo Gambino was known to do this. It kind of look like him. It's fucking scary, but it's not his head in a slow manner. Actually, it was one single nod like this. Gone. Christy Stugazzi's calling him. Back live. My daughter Kristen called me. So, Bill Belichick unfortunately has to go. Second. I was only kidding about what I said with Bob Kraft and having a Brookline kosher dinner with some rabbis regarding Belichick. I'll let Edelman know that it's important I reach out to Edelman, uh, my fellow Jewish brother, and uh, Brady and Gronk. Stay strong, man. I know that was hard for you guys to play against Malky. And then you lost to the Philly man with LeGarrett Blount as a running back, man. I won't hold me. How we let LeGarrett go, man? How the fuck do you let LeGarrett go, man? What the fuck are you smoking? I smoke some shit in my fucking day. You best believe, motherfucker. But no smoking shit, been shot in this. Big star. Look, this motherfucker thing. You let LeGarrett Blount go, oh, shit. Bill, check out this motherfucker right now. Get paper on the seat. <sighs> then you bench Malky, man. It, the five rings, right? We got five rings. Is it five or four? I'll have to talk to my son, Moishi Maya. See what he thinks about this. But that shit hurt, man. They're not the Titans, man. We got fucking barreled around. They were bigger, faster, stronger. We got fucking bounced around like basket fucking balls in Tennessee. Fucking embarrassed. Dion Lewis was there. Malky. What the fuck, man? How we let these guys go? Fucking my Patricia. I mean, it, it might have gone to a point where the system, it has nothing but to regenerate and re-spit out those who want to supersede it and get their shot. And their comebacks from from the Belichick camp. And Bill's been through a lot, man. I mean, I beat this shit out of Bill. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. We did get a lot of fucking rings, man. And what him and Brady did is fucking amazing, man. If you know what breaks my heart? I fucking love Wes Welker, man. I fucking love that guy. I love him. He never got a ring. He never got a fucking ring, Wes Welker, man. Tommy, give him a fucking ring, please. Give him a fucking ring, Tom. Me and Tommy, I'm six years, fucking six months older than Tom. We talk all the fucking time. I can't, you know, Tom, happy Thanksgiving, you know, and uh, can't wait to see Giselle at the dinner table. <laughs> Anyways, 
back to business. The reality of this shit is this, dog, right? The Belichick has to go. Second thing I want to bring up on the New England Sports Radio Live Rabbi Red Wing Extremist Network, Christian Judeo, a minister of Christ. I put my fucking balls in the line when I say it. My balls. Now, seriously, I'll get it aside. I'll get it aside, fucking very, very seriously. I'll get it aside. I'll tell you this, right? Fucking people. So, for real, dog, fucking Planet of the Apes is by far my favorite shits. As a matter of fact, I might have to stop recording right now. Yo, Caesar and Planet of the Apes, dog, human do this. Human do this. When that motherfucking ugly motherfucker turned on Caesar, dog. Guess what, man? We get some American Christian. Planet of the motherfucking apes coming at your head. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm about to, I'm about to be the minister. The minister. I'm going to research Sicario. Let's research Sicario right now, live on Rabbi David Yehuda Network. The Apotheca. I'm doing over the Apotheca. My name, my name is Yehuda. It's a holy name. Yehuda. Moishimaya. Sicario was a time in Jerusalem where the Jews would, according to the movie Sicario, is a hitman. The word is most often used to describe the hitman associated with Mexican drug cartels, and they don't have the friendliest reputation. Yeah, they'll just whack you. But I thought it meant. When Rome controlled Israel, it was the Jews that would sneak out at night. Just like they would, but not, they were Jews, but they were Sicarios. That's where the Mexicans got the name from, the Jews in Israel. There was the Jew Sicario. They would, you know, nighttime would come around and kill the Roman soldiers. Like, you know, that silence. And that's where the movie, you know, the Sicario comes from. So, getting back to uh, that part of the American Ministry for Sicario, Red Ring Extremists. We out here, hundreds of thousands of white, grizzly motherfuckers like me. I, we got black homies, Spanish homies. We Americans now, man. We about an American uprising, dog. We these people. Black, white. You know what's up and who's up and who's down, yo. But yo, America, baby. We gotta take care of each other around this motherfucker. Yo, I wanna be like motherfucking. Yo, I don't wanna be hanging. I wanna be fucking slinging turkeys, man. In the neighborhood like John Gotti. When that motherfucker Denzel Washington played, man, that Rufus motherfucker Frank Wright. Million dollars a day, dog, pumping out a clean, clean run straight from China. Can't even put that in your pipe and smoke it. Yo, man, Duncan Donuts, I'd like to give a salute to make America great again. The caravan that's coming up, I don't know where it is right now. But, uh, there's rules, parameters. That's what keeps us together, is our rules. We need all the John Gaudis we can get, but it's our rules that keep us together. If it was up to me, he goes. Neil fought tooth and nail that night with Gambino to save John Gaudi's life. If I was the head of the crime family, 
Gotti would have went that night. Well, a lot of people don't understand this. The genius inside my brain. That's why we're going to get this YouTube up to like 100 million plus. I need the flow, the dough. You know what's up, what's down. All around town, Georgia Brownstone. Thank God I ain't smoke no white stone. You know, Bob was rising. I ain't eating no by vans. That's yeah, Sicario, man. This shit looks sick, though, man. I didn't see the second one, but I loved, I loved the fucking movie, man. Ben Darius is a fucking mean, nasty actor, though. It's a fucking maniac. Man, Damien's are nothing for Boston. Nothing. Fucking piece of shit. You know what? It's Wahlberg. Fuck you. I fucking hate you, Donnie Wahlberg and Matt Damon. Ben Affleck, fuck you too, you piece of shit. All three of you fucking punks. I challenge you to come back to the fucking Dorchester right now. I'll fucking go toe to toe with fucking all these right now. Fucking Batman. Fuck you, Batman. I'll fucking wreck your fucking head in Ben Affleck. Fuck you. How do you like that? Fucking put that in your fucking pipe and smoke it. I'm motherfucking Batman, motherfucker. You ain't shit. Fuck you. Ain't come back to Boston and done shit, motherfuckers. I ain't seen you donate a motherfucking dime to the fucking Boston. Don't come fucking through. I put orders out, motherfucker. I put orders out. Punk motherfuckers. You gotta have a federal cop killers. It needs to be the death penalty. It needs to be administered very quickly. The trial needs to be expedited, not backlogged. It needs to be expedited. And then the the actual putting the guilty individual, but that needs to be expedited quickly and efficiently. You know, and then the family can have burial rights to the body. The state will pay for that. That's, that's it, man. That's it. It has to fucking, it has to move it forward, if not backwards. If we can't backdate it 10 years, backdate the law. Now, I understand there's certain circumstances, intoxications. Is this, you know, I'm talking about cold blooded shit. Cold blooded shit, no. Yeah, I'm fucking have it now. And the jury can tell the difference. If you haven't had apple cider vinegar today, you need to have some. I'm a living testament, 41 years old, and seven biological children, uh, disillusioned sociopath, multiple personalities, bipolar. <clears throat> uh, earlier this year, I was hit with oh, five hits of Narcan. Uh, that was my first attempted suicide off the opioids, legitimately. Um, at that time, it was not an accidental overdose. Um, usually, me being, you know, my last name is Apotheker, it means pharmacist. And uh, it hasn't been altered uh, from Ellis Island because the Apotheker stayed the same name on the, the uh, Ukrainian, uh, the Lithuanian Jew, which is a Shafatic Jew, which is basically a white skinned Jew that traveled from Israel, not a Shafatic, which is like a dark skinned Jew, which they think they're better than us. Fuck them, too. And uh, I'm fucking like anybody who thinks they're fucking better than me. Nobody's better than fucking nobody. You know, Bobby Evans taught me that my first NA sponsor. Everybody deserves respect, but I want to be a minister of God. See, deep in my heart, I'm a fucking Sicario. I know I am. I fucking know I am. But you gotta breathe, Dave, you know? I mean, I had a tough year, man. You know, that was a fucking serious piece that I did there. I tried to get out. You know, Rick DeFuria finds me of all fucking people. Found his wife, Dawn, found his roommate, Jimmy. Don, who was Salemi's daughter's buddy, and, and Jimmy, rest in peace, Bella, rest in peace, and fucking poor Ricky fucking fucking finds me there. Fucking the night before, we were talking about Lazarus. Oh, fucking Lazarus, man, no one tells the story of fucking Lazarus anymore. It's a fucking murderer. Jesus brought him back from the dead, dude. His body was dead ass. Fucking decomposed and everything. The Son of God brought him back to life, man. Put that shit in your pipe and smoke it. You fucking hurt, motherfucker. Shit, dog. Nigga, nice. Nice, Shit, dog. You fly. Yeah, man, I ain't done shit on that, on uh, Damon. 
fucking born supremacy. You fucking, I'm not a fucking bastard. I'll show you a fucking supremacy. Fucking. Seriously, fucking. UFC fucking in the cage. Fucking all proceeds go to fucking the fucking the, the Dorchester Roxbury Youth Commission. The basketball courts with the, you know, facilities, man. It'll be a big turnout in the fucking, a fucking, first one fucking, you know, you doing a fucking pecking order. I mean, fucking, that's it. You know, pecking order, fucking Ron Robert. Start with fucking Affleck, fucking Batman. I'm gonna fucking annihilate him first at the fucking tone right, motherfucker. I'm Batman, motherfucker. So fucking bring Batman so I can fucking, yo, the rockin' fucking bull, dog. You got no clue, motherfucker. Yeah. It only she don't know me. Yeah, man. I don't know what else to say. Uh, you know, I did a did a skint that uh, it was County Hospital. It was grotesque up in Dorchester. Psych unit up there. I don't give you much. You fucking share a roommate with some fucking. It was horrible, man. I did fucking three, four days there. It's like one threw over the fucking cuckoo's nest. The fucking you know, Jennifer, man. She's trying to fucking kill me. The fucking part. Put on this earth to fucking kill me, man. There's no two ways about that shit. I firmly believe that now, man. 238 Perry Street, man. Fucking 18 years old. I had more fucking... More fucking Tony Montana. I'm a political prisoner from Cuba. And my name is Tony Montana. Yo, woman, so kind. I'm the bad... I got a YouTuber. I'm the bad guy. I'm the fucking bad guy. I can't hold the fucking cockroaches. Oh, he's a good one, ready for this one? Plus you get that money, then you get that then you get that warm. Boss and my wife, sell your money to the fuck. Fuck the Pacino, huh? You fucking killed that role. Who the fuck was that? Was that Pacino? That was the other fucking guinea man. What's his name? He's a good fucking actor, but if you turn Trump, he's, he's fucking dead to me. Oh, fuck. Oh. Donate immediately to, uh, what you do is you set up a MoneyGram account. And, uh, on Walmart. My name is David, D-A-V-I-D. Last name is Apotheker. That's A-P-O-T-H-E-K-E-R. In Stoughton, S-T-O-U-G-H-T-O-N, Massachusetts. 02072. And uh, you can wire me up to $2,500, please. This is the maximum per day. And you can please text me at 617-386-3889. For immediate funding and support in the Jews for Jesus Christ ministries, there's a lot of work that <clears throat> legitimately needs to get done in the community, particularly I guess Park, which is one of the most grotesque areas in Brockton, Massachusetts, I've ever seen in my life after um, a Civil War soldier. But there's a particular individual, six foot seven, African American male. Um, Last I checked, was living there three to six months. I haven't uh, surveillance the area since, um, due to the fact that it's it's so grotesque. There's such a negative takeover in this city that um, there needs to be immediately there needs to be some state funding. As far as I don't even want to send the state police in there. I mean, there needs to be a special unit. We need to at least triple the Brockton police force. Um, we need to give the current police officers better equipment, um, better health insurance. We need to increase uh, what we're paying our current officers uh, handsomely, send them back to school and invest in them and, uh, and take care of them in the Brockton network. Same with the firefighters. Um, very, very important on an intercity level, especially Brockton. It's very, it's a very unique area in that it sits in the Bridgewater Triangle, and 
within the Bridgewater Triangle, which was uh, a heavy Massasoit um, Indian community. And uh, there were, I, I forget the st stats, I'm scared to look them up, it's overwhelming, at least a, at least 100,000. Very sad. Who was Massasoit? What did he do? We throughout his life maintained peaceful relations to English citizens in Plymouth County. Wow. That was Massasoit, huh? I don't want to hear about King Philip's War. The First Indian War, Metacom's War, Metacom's War versus Potacom's Rebellion, and Metacom's Rebellion was an uh, armed conflict. 1670 between the Indian inhabitants of New England, New England colonists, and Indian allies. The war was named Metacompt, the Montpont chief, also known as the Metacomp, and by his adopted English name, King Philip was chief of many people in 1770 Sack on Massasoit. He became a chief in 16 with his brother Lawrence Additionally, Wow, oh, man, that's King Philip, huh? Wow, oh, was that in Rhode Island? See, I thought it was more in the Plymouth County, the Beaver Wars. Um, what else do we have here? Metacom. Oh, wow, I was way off on this, man. King Philip's seat, Mount Hope, Rhode Island. King Philip's death, Mount Hope. Yeah, but I thought there was more to this thing, man. But anyway, I guess Park and Brock was really a grotesque area. Um, what I'd like to do is, I know I just showed over Aflac and, and fucking uh, Damon. And uh, Wahlberg, a fucking pencil neck fuck, too. Piece of shit. The only one I really like is Donnie, man. Donnie Wahlberg. He hasn't fucking done anything either still from Boston. You know what? Fuck him. And if I'm wrong, then fucking shame on me. If you have, and I don't know about it, then I fucking recant everything I'm saying, but I don't fucking, I haven't heard a fucking scene. Like, yeah, I haven't been back in the fucking city. You come back when they fucking win the World Series and shit. Like, fuck you, man. You're on California now. What the fuck happened to you? Fuck you. Don't come back now. Fucking slain, man. I got mad respect for slain. Peace out to all gay warriors right there, yo. Slain's my homie, man. He reps Boston, man. Mad respect for the motherfucker. The Coca Nostra, dog. So, anyways, um, Eggers Park is pretty grotesque. And as a result of it being so grotesque, you got a massive, massive influx of humans. I mean, I did the documentary on it. It was unfucking believable, man. The human waste, piles of it. I can't even believe how human can shit that much, man. I never shit that much in my life. Where the fuck did that come from? The fucking syringes, man. But it's in particular, egg is fucking pot, man. They all fucking hang out there. I wanna know who's selling the fucking shit. I want to know who's selling the fucking shit down in his back. I want to know where, where they're getting their fucking shit from. Or close down the whole fucking block. Or, or, you can find the part of the fucking, you can find a part of the Christ Ministries right now. Okay? And you know what? With the proper funding, or if anybody wants to back me, I know Bruce David, right? I ain't going in no more. I mean, I need, I need gear. I want camo gear. And that's it, a fucking shakedown, man. I want bulletproof vests, I want fucking choppers in the sky, man. Fucking get the pop, get the fucking screaming angles ready, dude. I want chopper fucking surveillance overnight over the fucking park. I want fucking cameras lacing and out of that fucking park. Surveillance wise, man. 24 7 CCBTs out there, man. Fuck on that work. Send me some fucking money, please. You, please. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, my boy, Bobby.